Hey everyone, ocean conservation and marine life expert Jacqueline Friedlander here, and today we are going to talk about 10 types of endangered marine animals. On August 1st, Discovery Channel lit up the Empire State Building by projecting 160 images of endangered species to promote their upcoming documentary, Racing Extinction. So today, my goal is to raise awareness about some animals that need protecting. In random order, here we go. Number 10, the short-tailed albatross. Due to the trade of its feathers, this seabird was on the brink of extinction. Luckily, they were protected just in time and the population has made quite a recovery. They're still threatened, but they're much lower on the concern scale than they once were. Number nine, Elkhorn coral. These animals are one of the most important species of reef building coral, and sadly, they're critically endangered. They're structurally complex and home to many animals, but things like human activity, natural predators, storms, and climate change have all contributed to their decline. It's estimated that 90 to 95% of the Elkhorn coral population has been destroyed since 1980, but fortunately, conservation measures are now being taken to help the population recover. Number eight, some species of hammerhead sharks. Hammerheads have always fascinated me and they're so cool looking. Fun fact, nobody has ever died from a hammerhead attack. That doesn't mean these sharks aren't dangerous and certain species have bitten people before, but most hammerheads are not the vicious man eaters that people make all sharks out to be. On the flip side, humans hunt hammerhead sharks for shark fin soup and the population is rapidly declining. Number seven, manatees. I had the opportunity to go snorkeling with manatees last year in Florida and it was amazing. These big sea cows are very peaceful and one of the babies I encountered was extremely playful. They're considered to be intelligent and are thought to have really good long-term memories. Unfortunately, human factors like habitat destruction and boating accidents threaten these animals and they only reproduce about every two years. Number six, nearly all species of sea turtles. These animals are endangered because they're poached for their eggs, meat, skin, and shells. Habitat destruction, boating accidents, disease, and climate change also threaten sea turtles. Number five, stingrays. Many species of stingrays are endangered. They have natural predators like sharks, but they're also hunted by humans for their skin. The leather from their skin is used to make wallets, which literally makes me sick to my stomach. Please don't ever buy anything made from endangered animal skin. Also, because of what happened to Steve Irwin, I was told when I visited the Sydney Aquarium in Australia that humans have been capturing stingrays, removing their barbs, and then re-releasing them back into the wild. This is a terrible thing to do because that barb is a stingray's defense against predators, so that means their chances of survival without this barb are greatly reduced. Number four, Hawaiian monk seals. This species of seals can live for 20 to 25 years in the wild, but they're preyed upon by sharks and they're often caught in nets and become what's called bycatch. Bycatch is an animal that is not the targeted species of a fishing trap, but one that gets caught in the trap anyway and dies as a result. While we do have protection policies in place, monk seal population has been declining about 10% per year since the late 80s. Number three, blue whales. These beautiful animals were hunted to the brink of extinction by the whaling industry for their meat, oil, and blubber. Whaling was banned in 1986 because more than 50,000 whales per year were being hunted and the population desperately needed to recover. Some countries want the ban to be lifted, but conservation groups are working hard to keep these gentle giants protected. Number two, white abalone. Some people aren't familiar with this animal, but white abalone are a species of very large snails that are hunted for their edible meat and beautiful mother of pearl shells. The shells are made into jewelry and the market price for these animals is high. In addition to human factors, white abalone have a difficult time reproducing in the wild because they must be in close proximity to each other and there are so few of them left. Scientists are researching the feasibility of breeding white abalone in captivity and then releasing them into the wild. While this usually isn't a good idea and presents many issues, this may be the white abalone's only chance of survival. And number one, vaquitas. This species of dolphin is currently the world's rarest marine species and they are right on the edge of extinction. It's believed that there are a hundred or less of these animals remaining. They're often caught and drowned in illegal fishing nets and over half of the population that remained has been lost in the last three years. So what can you do to help? There's lots of ways. Help spread the awareness. If you learned something from this video, share it with your friends. I often tweet petitions to help with conservation initiatives, so follow at Friends with Fins on Twitter and sign when they're circulated. Be sure if you're playing in the ocean, diving or snorkeling that you leave everything where you found it and be kind to any animals you encounter. 
And if you want to help financially, find an ocean conservation organization to donate to. If you want weekly ocean and conservation information, click subscribe. See you next Friends with Fins Friday. Thanks for watching.